back with another video. This is the last of the kitchen videos. Um, I just wanted to show you a little message center that I did in the kitchen and a couple other cupboards that you didn't see in the regular videos because I, I didn't change them. I didn't feel I had to change anything in them because they were working. You'll notice at some point I was looking back at the video and I'm showing the kitchen cupboards and it's a little sideways, but my camera um, is breaking right before my eyes. Um, the other day I went to shoot a video and now it's just doing that. It's showing a white screen when I open it. So the only way it works is if I flip it back to the side. So I'm kind of holding it sideways and trying to videotape. So it's really screwed up. I'm sure it's just a little wire in between this little area that's detached or something. I don't know, but I know I can't afford to fix it on this island, so it's just going to have to stay that way. So I'm going to have wonky sideways videos. Um, so anyway, here's the last little bit of my kitchen. Hi, so the last um, cupboard that I have to deal with in the kitchen, which I don't even really have to deal with at this point, but you'll see why. Um, down here, it's just, it's a weird little narrow cabinet. It's only as long as my hand. Um, and it has the two doors. So down below here I have the two window fans that I put above the kitchen sink in the summertime. There's some shelf paper, the frosted or the clear my daughter uses for um, covering her books at school. And then um, up here we have our family calendar on the wall. On the shelves I used to keep my cleaning supplies, but I found my cleaning supplies were here, the paper towel was somewhere else, the vacuum and brooms were somewhere else, so I was constantly running back and forth. So I have since moved all my cleaning products to another area. I will show you the video I did of that. Um, and then here I bought, I bought these when we were in Canada um, this Christmas. Uh, it's a magnetic dry erase calendar. They were $8.98 originally down to $4.97, and then I got them for 50% off of that. So for two something, hello, I was not passing that up. So I actually ended up buying three of the calendars, one of the plain blue boards, which for some reason was $2 more. I should have questioned that, but oh well. Um, and then I got two cork boards. So what I want to do is make like a little message center in here. The shelves can move. Um, I don't know. I just would like to do my meal planning and have everything written on the calendar. And I think it'd just be a nice place to put notes, um, grocery lists, stuff like that. And what's nice about this whole thing is that it's all tucked away um, and no one sees it because I'll show you this. My daughters on the side of the fridge have their little whiteboards and they keep all their notes and stuff, um, little checklists for when they're getting ready in the morning and it drives me crazy but it's it's neat they keep it tidy um so you know what this system works for them so i'm just gonna leave it so there you have it okay so i ended up tackling um this little cabinet this morning uh nothing really changed down here um i took the shelf paper off i just left the fans there and um and then up here i just put the extra calendars i have two calendars that I may use at some point. Um, they could even go in the kids' rooms. They could each have one in there. And then I just tuck the shelf paper in behind there. And then up top, I now have my little message center. Now, I didn't fix these to the walls. They're literally just kind of standing in there, but you can pull the tacks off and nothing's falling over. Um, so it seems fine. It's just kind of in underneath the shelves. I may have to... I don't know, get some command strips or something if it seems to be falling over. And then I just put a little um, plant pot there with some pencils and the dry erase markers in it. And I have some extra magnets. Um, but yeah, so I think it's, I think it might work. It seems cute. Um, and then up, up top, I don't know, just an extra shelf for now. But um, open space is good. So there you go. Okay, so a few more things I wanted to show you in the kitchen before we're done with this series um, is I put this basket over here. Now, uh, I know my daughter liked this area clear, but I wanted a place for us to have our phones, um, uh, just to have a place to charge them, and it fit perfectly between the light switch and the outlet. And I just added like a multi um, outlet plug there. So I have my iPad, I have 
um, the cord to charge the camera that I'm actually using right now. And then my daughter and I can keep our phones there. There's room to add a couple more things. Um, so I like that there. I have a, an envelope that I have to give to somebody so um, I know right where it is. And then the other cupboard that I didn't show you, okay, so this is my baking one. That was the one where the napkins or the tablecloths were. And then this corner one was my kitchen. Um, kitchen, my Christmas stuff. This one here is just our everyday dishes. It's been like this since we moved in and it seems to work, so I didn't bother changing it. Up top is just beer glasses, wine glasses, the pitcher with the little cups. And then our regular drinking glasses. I ended up buying a new set a few months ago. I could not believe I found the same glasses here on the island. Um, but our old ones were just getting cloudy, you know, after you've had them in the dishwasher for so many years, they just, they're dead. Um, Mished mashed mugs make me crazy, but they've all been gifts for my husband and he likes them, whatever. He has certain ones he likes to use uh, with his coffee, so he can have at it. I don't, I don't drink coffee, so he likes it. It's, it works for him. And then uh, these are just our everyday dishes. I bought these at Target about seven years ago. It's just the home collection. It was just called Tropical. And, um, and then these are the bowls. And I thought they were really cute. And then my sister got us these bowls. Uh, it was a set of four from Costco. My husband absolutely loves those for ice cream. And the other cupboard, um, those were our drawers, the corner cupboard. This was under the sink. You hadn't seen this, it's not very exciting. It's just cleaning supplies. Those few things on this side are mine. The rest of the stuff is my landlord's. They had it there when we moved in. I'm sure they mean for us to use the items, but um, I just don't want to touch their stuff and I'm sure they'll use it when we leave and give it a big clean. Um, so I just, I just leave their stuff there. I don't touch it and our fire extinguishers under there as well. And then this was the island and above the island was this cupboard, just a single cupboard and we just have plastic dishes in there, mostly um, Ikea and a couple water bottles up at the top. So that is it. That is the entire kitchen. Everything is done. It's been actually done for a couple days now and it feels so good in here. I feel calmer um, when I'm cooking in here because that is like my least favorite chore next to laundry. <laughs> but uh, everything is done, everything's clean. It just feels great that um, everything's been wiped down and um, tidied up. So I hope you guys have um, luck with your kitchens and stay tuned. Um, we're moving on to the next room. I don't know what that room is yet, but <laughs> we'll figure it out. Thanks for watching, take care, bye-bye. So the kitchen's done. It's finished. Look, the light is off in the room. It's finished. We don't need to go back in there. We just need to maintain what we've done. Now, that's the important thing. There's no point organizing everything if you're, if you're just going to let it get messed up again. Um, so just maintain what you've done. Keep it clean and keep it organized. And don't drag any new stuff back in there because you just got rid of things. Now, I got rid of things. They're all on my floor. <laughs> So that's why I'm sitting right here, so you don't see that. Um, but no, all this stuff has to be dealt with. But I still have my Christmas tree up. And apparently there's a lady in Germany that still has her Christmas tree up. She commented the other day, and I'm sorry, I forget your name. But the lady in Germany and I have got to get our trees down. Um, so what I'm going to do is just kind of pile all this stuff up to the side of the room. Just so we, cause we can't even get into the kitchen now. Maybe that's why it's staying so clean. No one can. No one can get in there. Um, so I'm just going to move that stuff, tidy it up into a little pile until I can work with this room. And then I'm going to work on the Christmas stuff. Now, what I'm going to do is usually when I'm taking the tree down or I'm taking the extra decorations down, I just go around the house, find all the Christmas decorations and sit them neatly on my dining room table until I can go get the bins in the garage. <sighs> I'm dreading that garage. It's Oh, I'm scared to death. But anyway, so I've got to go out in the garage, pull everything out. The weekend is coming. Today is Thursday, January 10th. So I think just over the next day or so, I'm just going to pile the stuff up, get all the Christmas stuff gathered. And then on the weekend, I'm going to tackle the garage. I just have to go at it for a day or two and clear everything out. Um, 
see the problem is it's just so small I have no space to work so I have to take everything out and then put everything back in so and then anything I'm left with at the end I need to find a home for um, temporarily so anyway we'll deal with that so that's gonna be on the weekend so for now start gathering your Christmas decorations if you haven't already it's January 10th I this has to be done um okay so lady in Germany it's time to tackle the tree <laughs> All right, so thanks for watching the kitchen videos. Uh, I'm done. I will go away now and um, I'll be back soon with a new video. Thanks for watching. See ya.